of all the therapies and all the mechanisms that have been uh, described or ascribed to Alzheimer's disease, there's only one mechanism that really ties to every other aspect of the pathology, and that's neuroinflammation. We know that neuroinflammation can cause neurodegeneration, which is really the core of the disease. We know that neuroinflammation can target and can cause increase both amyloid and tau. So these are plaques and tangles. We also know that it's important for other mechanisms that people are looking at, such as insulin resistance, autophagy, and those sorts of things. As a result, people have started looking at the genetics related to neuroinflammation and Alzheimer's. And what the newer studies show that the vast majority of genetic problems in Alzheimer's disease are within the immune system. So taking a whole look at this entire picture, we know that the immune system is the most attractive target. If you couple that from some of these epidemiological studies, for example, people that have been on um, uh, anti-inflammatories for long term that show a protective effect against developing Alzheimer's just adds to the richness of that data set. We believe very strongly that the single most important mechanism to target in Alzheimer's disease is neuroinflammation. And immune bio has a very specific target that's potent and selective that we believe is in a class of itself.